All right, let's go ahead and add a subdivision to the legs. Just uh, holding Alt to uh, select them and then Control D to add the subdivision. I'm going to use my uh, Shift key to smooth some of the stuff out, which makes it thinner. It's really what I'm after. Although the the whatever these are, the forearms are are kind of thicker, so we'll add. Let's come back to inflate. Add a little more volume here. You can kind of see what that shape looks like from the side, just a tiny bit. I think these legs can get a bit smaller. So we'll just kind of scale it in. Could update our reference image. If I click up here, you can see I can no longer see all the legs. So I'm just going to zoom out a little bit and we'll add a new point and then just click and drag this one off. So now we have a camera view that we can return to. And I feel like I've got this off a tiny bit. Like you can see this bulge right there. I'm kind of missing. So I'm sculpting on this side and looking at the silhouette change on this side, trying to find where that's going to be. And it looks like this kind of swoops in a bit. Go ahead and do a, a, a redynamesh on that, just in case there's any baggage, any weird poly stuff. And I'm going to—I'll sh show you a new a new brush now. It's kind of interesting. It's similar in some ways to Damn Standard. Let's see which one am I not going to need for a little while. It's uh, the MAH cut brushes. Whoops, I think I probably screwed that up. So I'm going to filter for everything that starts with an M uh, by tapping the M key. So here's MAH cut mech A. And this is kind of cool because it makes a shape like that, right? So you can get, you can begin to think about your panel stuff a little bit better. Kind of like squash the face up a bit. And where to go? Start thinking of this fella a little more robotically. Feels like this thing here is kind of maybe the bottom of this thing, so I want there to be a little bit of a shelf between the upper part and the lower part. And I'm holding Alt with the the uh, MAH cut brush, and you can see it gives us this nice clean ridge there. Something like that. And we'll do some kind of on the inside here. And I want to fill this area in with something that feels like a cloth, I believe, if I can make it work. I'll be, I'll be using um, some brushes that, that have a nice cloth behavior that I found on ArtStation for a, a very, very low price considering how awesome they are. I think they were like four bucks. So I'll definitely, if I go that route, I will include a link to those. It's all kinds of cool stuff on ArtStation. So now I'm using the clay tubes brush just to kind of relax some of that stuff, but we still get those nice clean distinctions and what the form is doing. Go back to MAH cut. Do something along this line here. And I'm seeing, yeah, some kind of repeating pattern here and here. It might be a little bit much with the, the MAH cut. Like it's gonna, that might just be a little bit too deep. And then there's gonna be some transition between the white stuff on the bottom and the green stuff on the top that I can't really see because the wing is in the way. So I'm just gonna make it up. I'm just gonna say it's something like that. And then on the bottom here is where we are gonna do our, this kind of stuff. And we'll wanna integrate the leg stuff in a little bit and whatever. Maybe not go the the full hard surface nine yards, just to demonstrate a few uh, ideas of how you can begin to do this stuff. All right, so I can use my flatten brush now to begin 
cleaning up and finding some of the planes. Usually a good idea after a, a bit of sculpting to come in and figure out how it all fits together. I turned perspective off on accident. So right now, the, I, th I think I've, I've just decided that the legs are either way too big or the body is way too short. As you can kind of see what's going on here. So let's we'll just make the legs smaller. I'm going to click this little icon here, hold Alt to click it, which will reset my rotation. And we'll make these smaller as well. Sorry, just rotate the uh, reset the rotation. It resets everything. Sets it back to zero. And then we'll make this stuff a little longer. So we'll just grab the, uh, the move brush here. Something like that. And I think that the combination of this big, round, heavy body and these little legs really make this feel like an interesting, at least to my eye, an interesting object. We're missing some of the stuff up front. Maybe we make the eye a little bit smaller. Oops, let me turn the symmetry on here. Looks like I've already lost my symmetry. Okay. So that's the X key, there we go. Make this a little skinnier as well. I think it's cool how thick this is relative to the whatever that next step down is. So we'll try to hang on to that. But we can use the smooth brush here to make the pieces up in the front feel a little bit skinnier. Although that might have been a little bit too much. It's hard to see what's going on exactly from the reference images, so we're just gonna have to figure it out. Like maybe a little bit sharper on the knee. All right, so I've got a couple minutes left. I think I'm gonna try to block in the wing real quick. And I'm just gonna use this main body as a, as a way to, to get that going. I don't think I actually talked about this in the, in the previous series, but it is occasionally kind of useful. Uh, so let's see, I'm going to Use my masking lasso here. And I'm gonna just sort of make a shape that's kind of wingy. Just right there on the side. Oh, that looked like the, or maybe I, I, it looked like it didn't work for a second, but I think it might've just been the lighting on the, on the geo. So we'll just make something kind of like this. Uh, I've got symmetry, symmetry turned on, so let me turn that off. So I can always, mirror this when I'm done. All right, so there's our wing and it's got a, it's got a, the reason I, I want to use this is because it's got the same curvature as the body. So if I want the wing, even though the wing is actually kind of flat, it'll just be a little bit of a head start. So we'll come over to the extract section down here and this is in subtool. And I think I need to hit extract and what it'll do is it'll take anything that has been masked and it'll make a new piece of geometry. If I move the camera, it goes away. This is basically just a preview, but I can now hit accept and it will make that piece of geometry. And I believe it will append it back in. Yeah. So there's my extraction. These are not the same because I, I masked it without symmetry. Although I don't know, one's probably not any better than the other one but the, the masking just shot straight through the, the geo. So I'm just gonna do a mirror and weld here. And now we're gonna just really, really simplify this thing. So I'm gonna, you can see it's got all these different poly groups and it will try to preserve some of that poly group stuff if you let it. So I'm gonna hit control W to put everything in one poly group. And we'll just throw a polish on there. 
just to kind of smooth it. If you click this little circle here, it's like polish with extra strength polish, maybe. That's a good way to put it. So whatever. We got that, and now I'm going to go to uh, Z Remesher, and we'll rebuild this thing at a very low resolution. And now I can maybe polish it some more. All right. Oops, so now we'll use the move brush. Let's see how much it extends beyond. I'm gonna hold Alt and scoot this up so that I can scale from the top. So it'll be something like that. And we'll just, probably a smaller move would have been useful there. We'll just kind of scoot it in. Very, very rough, very crude. It's totally fine. Plenty of time to clean it up in the next video.